Hey everyone, welcome back to Kodoro. In this video, we're going to be going over the gigantic game dev asset tool mega bundle. So a bunch of these are Liardis. Um, we've gone over Liardis a ton of times. They make some amazing quality for both stylized animations, uh, realistic environments. So let's go over and open a few of these in Unreal. And there's a lot of new ones that are first time in Humble Bundle, such as this Scalable Interactions plugin, which is by Hyper. And Hyper is a very well-known asset developer on the Fab Marketplace. So let's go ahead and check these out. And this Humble Bundle is $30 for all 67 items. So it's pretty much even less than 50 cents per item. And holy crap, that is uh, dirt cheap. And you get a ton and ton of graphic packs. Uh, a lot of you guys might already have a lot of these from their previous bundles, but hey, you get a ton of new ones. There are a lot of first time on Humble Bundle, so you'll know what you'll be getting new. If you don't buy from Liardis directly, uh, this Humble Bundle is definitely for you. Let's go ahead and check these out. So in order to redeem for Unreal Engine, you just go ahead to the Cosmos site, make sure you're assigned in, and then on the bottom left, you'll see this redeem button and you can go ahead and enter in your code. So I've entered my code, hit redeem, and now it says uh, successful. And let's go ahead and check this out in our library. And then in the search, I'm just gonna go ahead and search for gigantic. And you're gonna see the tier one, tier two, tier three. So because I did the full $30, it is tier three. And you're gonna see all your orders over here, like so. And I'll just go ahead and download these and open it up in Unreal Engine. All right, so for the first one, we're gonna go over the castle scene by Style Arts. And uh, for some reason, the ground didn't load. I'm not too sure why, but we're gonna head over and check it out anyways. As you can see, very, very stylized. For some reason, this kind of reminds me of Fable. If you guys have ever played that game, it is a little old. Um, let's go ahead and check this out. So we have some really nice stylized looking crates in these little tiny huts along with these stairs kind of going up, kind of looking like a little dockside harbor, uh, just very medieval themed or even pirate themed in this case. And as you can see, there's some nice foliage with some wind and breeze on it, along with this amazing pathway that's supposed to lead you in front of this house or this windmill. So let's see if there are any interiors. I don't think there are interiors. This is more for outdoor stuff. Yep. So it is empty inside. We got a wheel with barrels, uh, float some trees. What is this supposed to be? I'm not sure what this is, but the water actually looks really, really pretty. Oh, that's the camera. And I didn't even notice this. There, there's some amazing kind of Great Wall of China looking pathway, a very nice stone bridge, kind of looking like you're about to enter Hyrule. And then we have these little uh, cutscene stuff going. So let's go ahead and click G to cancel that. But we have this beautiful uh, sunset happening over the water just on the horizon. You can see the reflection of the clouds in the water uh, over there. But overall looking really nice. So let's go ahead and actually go up to the castle, which is what the scene is named after. And boom. So there is some sort of modularity inside here. Not many lights and again, no ground. So feel free to add that. And there's some extra little buildings inside this huge castle. Very nice looking staircase if you're looking to make some sort of stylized Dark Souls game. And yeah, overall, a really, really cool game. Kind of looks like this is leading me to a boss fight area. As long as I find which way is like a top plat platform or something. And yeah, overall, really cool environment. Let's go ahead and check out the next level. All right, this next one is a first time on Humble Bundle. So this is straight up just called Tuscany. Um, I have this kind of weird screen thing on my, I'm not sure what this is. Okay, so when I hit play, it goes away. So there's a little bit of, it looks like chromatic aberration. I'm not too sure what's going on here, but overall, this is a very cutesy stylized looking environment. You can see these little apartment buildings, some AC stuff, really cutesy looking stylized scooter, very low poly and very performant. I feel like I'm getting over a thousand FPS just looking at this scene. Uh, very, very smooth. And overall there's some, um, these little buildings and we have these, uh, I don't know, it kind of looks like a hand wash thing. I'm not too sure what that is, but we have this outdoor seating and this pretty water that hasn't actually loaded yet. And I think it's just a regular plane. Uh, it doesn't say that it 
needs to load anything. Uh, maybe this is just left in. But overall, pretty cute looking asset. And let's go ahead and check out the next one. This is the Farm Animals Pack. So very low styled. Um, they have a lot of turn in place animations, uh, running animations, so running forward. So as we can see, there are a bunch of different types of cats, some dogs, sheep, goats, horses, cows, pigs, and so on. Uh, we got a ton of different duckies. So pretty cool looking animation. We have walk animations. We have uh, some transitions. So some of them are seating and standing and vice versa. And a lot of these are eating off the ground and just their normal idle poses. And these animations uh, can be applied with the easy retargeters. So if you were to use this with like Malper's horse set or something, and of course it does come with a little tool set for your farmer, a uh, wagon, barrel, and so on. So pretty cool, feel free to check these out. And uh, farmer characters. So these kind of look like uh, Cindy characters, but uh, extreme low poly version with some kind of crazy eyes, like they've seen something. Uh, they've seen the horrors of how tough game development can actually be. And overall, pretty cool looking asset with a ton of animations. Let's go ahead and check out the next asset. And in this pack, we're gonna be checking out the Lost Ruins. So as you can see, there's a very green glowy nighttime sky with a bunch of stars. Uh, we have these cute little vines and this stylized asset looking area. So we have this shield, these skulls, some swords, very low poly looking overall, really nice looking asset. We have this um, little holder with a book on it, kind of looks like a magic book. There's some bones and candles. The flame effect is very small, but at least it does look kind of realistic, which is cute. And then we have these uh, 2D planes of these fog materials. And over here we have some pots, more broken ruins, kind of like a maze. And overall, really, really cute looking asset. And that's pretty much all I'm gonna be going over for this Hummel Bundle. There are 67 items, which is a ton and ton of assets to go through. Oh, feel free to check them out. Feel free to use my affiliate code in the link below if you wanna help support my channel. Thanks for watching, code of the row. Like, subscribe, comment below. If you wanna see next, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.